G'day viewers. Hope all's going well. Tonight we're just having a bit of a walk down uh, the riverside and let's see what a couple of changes, we'll see how many changes you can identify. There's obviously a really big one and uh, there are a few different little items here and there. You do hear us having a bit of a banter here and there but that's all good. Uh, what you don't see is uh, when we start talking she's actually poking me a fair bit so I'm just giving it a little bit back 343 as if I don't have enough girls around me now surrounded by them. sisters, daughters, nieces definitely outnumbered in the clan but this is around circular 2015 late 2015, very early 2016 and still quite vibrant, still quite happening and uh, it's all pretty good I've always enjoyed walking up and down here just like a lot of other people we just come from the night market after having a bite to eat at the restaurant next to it because there are quite a few good restaurants there just next to the Phnom Penh night market go check them out there's plenty of good ones there As you can see, it's still pretty early, so not quite as busy as it normally would be over the weekend period. During the week, this is. As you can see, some of the, the old tuk-tuks, the ones that I prefer more than those other ones that are so cramped and tiny but they are more expensive than those other particular tool tools. Always enjoy them. You just get a better view all round and they're really good. Much more comfortable too. You can get in there and actually relax. I used to always like going to Blue Doll, or Blue Pumpkin I should say. That's a restaurant there, more so an ice cream parlour. But sadly, like a lot of things, it has closed down over recent years. They did have a few around, but you had to know where they were. Now I had the uh, little seating area upstairs. Rather good, enjoyable all the time. Have you noticed the biggest change of all? I wonder. Leave a comment below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button. Subscribe for more. It's always a great place to walk up and down. See, plenty of these tuk-tuks there. You don't see too many of the other ones. They haven't really been introduced just yet. And there's the old Riverside Bistro on Street 140. The very first restaurant I went to. Met a couple of lovely people there and just made me want to keep going back for more. Great people in there. Full of vibrant. Truck towing a truck. And have a look at what's going to happen here. You hear the whistles blowing, it's not police blowing, it's these 
parking attendants trying to get people to stop, which as you can clearly see, most people don't want to do. They just keep going. Take to you with his left hand indicator on. And went to the right. And have a look. Good old Mr. Landy Cruiser. I'll just keep going. Ain't gonna happen, sunshine. No patience, some people. That's right, you gotta remember. I'm in a big land cruiser. I have priority. But most people are pretty good. You just get the odd one here near that just doesn't want to take no for an answer. But you gotta leave your Western thinking behind when you do travel to any Asian country. As you can see, he didn't get very far. <laughs> Except for the cyclist, zoomity zoom. Now he's out far enough, he'll get out. As you can see, a lot of the little bikes are all zipping around the bus. There he goes. Took a whole what? 15 seconds? Anyway. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Catch ya!